Rockin' my dudes, Rockin' Reaper here. Sorry I've not been posting for a while. It's just that uh, I, had, I had a loss in the family, so I had to go to a funeral and hang out with my family for six days, which I had a lot of fun. But now I'm back posting videos again. And today, as you can see in the title, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the blunderbuss. Because as you know, everyone around the world is starting to get the blunderbuss. I'm going to go uh, show you guys how the blunderbuss is normally. So this is the quick the, the blunderbuss by itself without any good mods or anything. But I don't have a lot of, here thing. A lot of attachments are not needed. Like I'm just gonna show you guys how it is normally. But I have quick draw, so it's not equipped right now. But whatever. Anyway, so this is how the blunderbuss works. It just goes ting, and it takes a long time to reload. Today I'm gonna teach you guys a proper class of how to use the blunderbuss. So this is how you're gonna use it. Like I just put quick draw on it because I <laughs> I put any attachment. First thing you need is a pistol, like the P08, 1911 machine pistol, revolver, whatever the hell you're good with. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter for the pistols, just choose something you're good with. For example, for me, it's the P08. But, for your basic training, always use Hustle, because Hustle is your best friend with the, mu the musket. So, watch how fast you reload when you fire with this one. It's much faster. Let's just say this musket is a little bit faster when reloading with the hustle one. And here's the thing how you use it. So if you're attacking somebody, bang. If you don't hit them, switch over to your pistol. Boom, finish the job. That's how you really use it. Like, that's the best class I'm thinking about so far. Like, if I make another class, then I'll probably tell you guys, but uh, yeah, it's just a tutorial video of how to use the musket because here's the thing, everyone around the world is starting to get it and I just assume that everyone will be like, how are we supposed to use this in our online gameplay? And yes, I actually earned this from a typical rare supply drop. I'm actually quite happy about it. So yeah, th this is how you. Uh... So yeah, this is the blunt. This is how you use the blunderbuss. Which, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing gun. Even though it only has one shot, it has decent range. But like, I, I think I probably hit that right. See, yeah, you can hit from there, which is actually a decent distance. I mean, it's a decent distance, but it can probably give you a hit marker, so be aware of that. Like, here's that you have to be dead on with your shot, because the spread is not too big. Because watch the spread. Oh, wait, you can't really watch the spread. Hold up. Um, give me a piece of... Oh, not the Lewis Landship again. What the hell are you doing? Okay. So, watch the spread when I hit this target. See, that's the spread. It's very, very, very close together. So you have to be really close to your opponent. This is it aiming down sights. That generally the shots are really, really close together. So you have to be right about here to your opponent. Just using this uh, Dizzard 627 as an example. So if, hey, uh, Dizzard 627, if you're watching this video, uh, yeah, you're in a video. Anyway, so. And the engagement distance is not too long on it. So probably at right about here. Or maybe a little bit farther, like probably back to here. We'll probably give you a hit marker. Any farther than this, you will definitely not get a hit marker. But you have to be decently close to your target, but you don't have to be too close. But you have to be close enough. So that's how you use the musket. So I'm going to show you guys... Uh, the class in action so let's go into a custom match real quick I'm just gonna show you guys again how to make the class so what you have to do is you have to grab the uh, as you know the blunderbuss the four whatever attachments you want on it uh, advanced rifling is actually a decent decent one if for example if you want the extra range then you can do so, so then put steady aim so you, so if you panic then you can shoot somebody quickly which is actually a good idea, but uh, then you can put incinerary shells, which is pretty cool because you get, I think you get eight incinerary shells and you can shoot all eight, I think. I've always shot in the firing range, so if you want to put incinerary shells, go ahead. Like my attachment slots are don't care, okay? So now you use hustle, go over to your pistols, choose a pistol, like choose any pistol that you feel comfortable with or you're good with. So that, that's how you use that. 
Then you pull out the... Then you pull out the cl shotgun class. There you go. So you have extra grenades, too. And it can also, like, use... You can also use the gas to get people out of houses, so let me show you the thing in action. God, why am I stuck? What the hell is this? See, as you saw there, like, I killed him and then swapped, because here's the thing, you cannot shoot people from very long distances. See? Exactly. If you're running into a situation like that, do exactly what I just did. And if you're shooting somebody from a long distance, pull out the pistol. Or you can use Rifleman, which would be bad because your reload would suck for the, the blunderbuss. But technically, you're just pulling it out anyway. So, you know, shoot however you want. But just, I recommend Hustle if you're going to try and do anything. And if somebody's too long uh, distance for your blunderbuss, then you just pull out the pistol. <laughs> Got him. See, that's what you do. That's what you do. See? That's exactly how you do it. Right there. So if you miss your shot, that's your opportunity. It's your way of countering the fact that, oh, crap, I missed my shot with the, with the blunderbuss. There you go, see? It's a, quite good, it's a pretty good strategy, depending on what your, what your situation is. For example, if you have a spray and prayer, you probably won't be able to win, this, to win the fight. But... It's a good idea to use this glass, but I mean, if, it's just my opinion that it's good. I don't know if it really is good, but if you if you think so, hey, comment down below if you think that if this class helped you. Okay, and also drop a like and you know, subscribe if you haven't. Like it'd be great actually. <clears throat> so yeah, and sorry for the lack of content. I've just been stuck at a funeral, so I've been stuck at funerals and all this stuff so I had no time to post so why not so yeah guys uh, thank you all for watching drop a like subscribe and as always I'll see you in the next one see ya